Hello friends, welcome to Crack Gate CSE and in this series of database, today we will be understanding main operations in transaction and concurrency control. In the previous video, we have discussed some basic terminologies of uh, transaction and concurrency control like what is transaction, what is concurrency control and what is degree of concurrency. So if you have not checked that video, please check that out. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel for more such lectures and preparation tips. And in this video, we'll be understanding main operations like read and write because in a transaction, we know that whether we have to insert or to modify the important role of read and write is there, right? So we'll be understand it as per the list goes on. So first one is read. So this is read a that means we have to read the data item a. So what is the meaning of it? See this a is nothing but a data item. So we have to read that data item. So we have to access that A from database file, right? Then we have to copy it to main memory so that we can use the value of A in our transaction. See, this is a CPU and this is the disk or a database file, you can say. So whenever you have to perform the read, so there are sub instructions, you can say, although this read is a atomic instruction, that means all of these three sub instructions are collectively treated as, as a one instruction but for the better explanation i am writing like this so that you can easily understand so first of all if you have to read a what you have to do is you have to find the block in database file so first of all you have to find the block where this a is stored right so when you come to the file first you will be analyzing that where this particular a is stored let's say this is a particular block where the a is stored then you have to transfer this block to the main memory because this is our main memory so this a the block where the a is present will be moved to the main memory then we have to find the address of a in main memory so we have moved the a from file to main memory now you have to find out the address of this so that you can copy the value of this a to the program variable what is the program variable like wherever you want to use that particular value of a in your transaction that is known as program variable so first you have to find the block then you have to transfer that block to main memory here i am writing it as a cpu then you have to find the address of a then you have to find out the address of this a so that you can use it in your transaction or in a program variable so these three are the atomic instruction what is the meaning of atomic instruction that these three will be collectively treated as one instruction because read is one instruction right now let's understand what is write. in write a we have to update the data item a so update data item a in the database file so here what we have to do is again there is some steps that I'm explaining first one is you have to find the block in database file this is same as the first one then you have to find, or then you have to transfer the block to the main memory like we did here also while transfer to the main memory you have also have to store the address of this disk because after updating it in the main memory you have to update that in the disk as well so first find block then transfers to main memory and store the address of disk update a in main memory so if you want to update so let's say i updated a as b then update a in main memory so in main memory a is updated now if you have to replace the updated a in the disk so now this value is needed to be replaced here so when we store this value back because we have stored the address of the disk so we know from where we took that particular value so we'll be coming back and we'll be updating the value right so this is how the write instruction work again this one is also atomic so what is the difference among these two first is here you need to store the address of the disk which is not required here and update a then replace the updated a in the disk so these are some examples let's try to understand what these examples are in first example we have to update the account and set the balance as 
balance plus 500 let's say you are depositing 500 rupees to your account and your customer id is 101 so this is first transaction so in this transaction first of all what we need to do if you are depositing a particular uh, amount of rupees like 500 so whatever earlier your balance was let's say earlier your balance was 1000 rupees and you have deposited again 500 rupees so the total balance has to be 1500 so first we have to read the previous balance that you have in your account so read the balance of customer with customer id 101 then the, the uh, balance which is available in your account we have to add 500 and update the balance so now the new value is available in the balance then we have to write this balance of customer whose CID is 101 so here you can see that this is one instruction which is update but here we are using read and write both right so here we have used read and here we have used write that's why read and write are very important this is commit commit says that the transaction is executed successfully if there is no commit or is if there is any error then we have to roll back we will be learning about roll back checkpoint and other stuff in the upcoming videos now in this particular example we have to update account and set balance is equal to 10,000 where customer ID is 100 so here you can see that here we have to set the balance as 10,000 we doesn't we need not to find out the previous balance because we have to blindly set your balance as 10,000 so we can directly write and set the balance as 10,000 where CID is 100 so this is the case when you are opening any new account with any particular bank with the minimum account balance of 10,000 then what we have to do we have to directly write the value of balance as 10,000 because earlier there was no such balance so these kind of write where we are not reading any variable are known as blind write right so we have understood what is read what is write and what is blind write so that's all for this particular video if you find this particular video useful please like this and uh, share your feedback in the comments and if you are new please don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you very much for your time keep supporting keep learning have a great day